Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time. Y'all, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Joaquin Yahoo, the Israel author on the side of Derek Mann on the early what I see through scripture study and prayer line on this third day in July uh, 2020. Um, yeah, let's get it in. We're still doing the Corinthians series. We're making headways, y'all. We're almost done. Second Corinthians 13th chapter. Good to see you on uh, Charvet. Uh, Shalom. We got battle in the building. We got Big Cam in the house. Hallelujah. We got Lisa Keys in the place to be. My niece Tay, my niece Tay Tay, and, and Big Mark Cox, and my sis Trina just slid on up in here. Shalom, Shalom, Dimitri in the house. Mother Joyce. We got Elder. We got a coat Don Deans with us. Hallelujah. This morning, JB, man, you faithful, bro, bro. You getting it in, man. Love you, man. Um, who's the last time I told you I love you, bruh? Yeah. Well, I got it in again. Send my love to mom. Hallelujah. And Jackie, too. <coughs> Toddy in the house. My niece just slid up on. Oh, my niece is in here now. We kicked the ball. We can go and do the tip-off now and start the game. Hallelujah. Um, Big Sean. Big Sean in the building. Y'all, let's get in the word, y'all. We Again, we're in the we're Corinthians series. We're in uh, 2 uh, Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Y'all, let, let, let's let's rock. Look what he's saying. Look what he's saying. <clears throat> he said, this is the third time I'm coming to you, right? I, I like his his um, uh, tenacity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see you, Jeff. But but he say he say uh this is the third time I'm coming to you in the month in, in the mouth to a month in the in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall shall every word be established he's he's ready he's ready to con to conclude one thing I appreciate is his balance of authority and love and, and, and gentleness right all of it even the authority is in love so I don't want to insinuate when you get tough with somebody. You're not operating the spirit of love. That's just not true. That's why the word says faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of the enemy, right? Faithful, loving, and the profitable are, are the wounds of a, of a friend. Somebody love you, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll hurt your feelings to get you on the right track. Period, right? <clears throat> Nicole Robson, good to see you on. A cold, a Rita B is going down now. <clears throat> So, but I love how the first thing, he's super gentle, and that's why they start disrespecting him and treating him any kind of way. You know, some people get a little besides themselves, and, 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 and he's dealing with it. He's dealing with it. So look what he's saying. This is the third time I'm coming to you in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Uh, shall, shall every word be established, right? I told you before. And, and foretell you as if I were present and the second time and, and being being absent now I write to them which uh, heretofore have sinned and, and to all other that if I come again I will not spare let me read it in the y'all this will be the my, my third visit to you every matter must be established by the, the testimony of two or three witnesses, because he's ready to pull every he, he about to put it together and get it over right. right. He said, "I am. I already gave you a warning when I was with you the second time. I now repeat it while absent. On my return, I will not spare those who sinned earlier or any others." The authority that leadership have, people kind of like, you know, you know, underestimate. And, and it's, you know, how, you know, the establishment of order was, was established, you know, when the Most High was establishing order with the children of Israel. 
um, you know, and their daddy, Abraham, even he said, I will bless them to bless you. I will curse them to curse you. That's established. And when you have leadership, it's that same uh, ecclesiastical headship. There should be the same respect because there's the same um, anointing. And But anyone walking in love is not running around here flexing their muscles. They're not flexing their muscles. They're not being overbearing and rude because they got some authority. And it's so unattractive and it's just not good. Unattractive spiritually, it, it doesn't edify the body. When 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 the authority is given, is supposed to be given to a vessel of honor that walks in the spirit of love. And whatever gifts, like again, Corinthians the twelfth chapter, First Corinthians, right? But it talks about the giving of the gifts. The giving of the gifts comes with power. It comes with, with power and responsibility, and you can't meet the responsibility without having the spirit of love. You got to care about the people in the most high. Sometimes you got to put your foot down to keep order because people get besides themselves. You know, some people was raised without manners even growing up. They, they, you know, when we was growing up, you know, you couldn't look, you know, you, you grown folks talking. They say, get out my mouth. Once you see grown folks talking, you get a whooping for that. Get Go in the room. But now, you know, you know, as morals um, disintegrate, you got you got kids that are jump in your in, in your conversation, and people raised like that get disrespectful. You know, come up you you're present, and you get a lay member come up and 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 and, and check another lay member right in your face as if you're not there, as if like one of the kids walking up to you. You got you got you got four kids, and one of them walk to the other kid and just start whooping them. You, you got you got you got you got an eleven year old walk up and just get a belt and start whooping your nine year old. You standing right there. For spilling some water on the floor. I'm, I'm right here. You just people just don't have no. Anyway, what he's doing is he's he's getting things in order, right? And he said and he said and I'm and I'm not gonna spare. We we gonna, gonna get this straight, right? Um, and he's talking about folks that sinning because sin destroy sin is destroying this world. We're in the situation we're in. We 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 be, we six feet from each other. Don't want you to hug. Don't want you to talk. Don't want you to fellowship. And it's getting worse. It's it's already preposterous, and it's getting worse. But it, it's punishment for sin. Like all your liberties is taken. Some people's brainwashed enough to believe that it's justified. That's a part of sin too. That's a result of sin. You being sleep. You being put to sleep. You're under the influence of a delusion. It's kind of like it. It ain't even, it ain't even, it ain't even. Do you know what the devil is doing to people right now? It ain't even rocket science. It's like you got to kind of be. <laughs> you couldn't, you just, you definitely not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I don't want to offend nobody. I, I really don't. But someone come along, take all your freedom. Even take all your family from you. Just take everything from you. And you think it's for your good. And you believe the hype. It's just, it's just unbelievable. But let me finish teaching. It's because of sin. When you don't have the love of the truth, it's the most high that will send you a strong delusion that you believe a lie. To tie it together is when you reject truth, ain't nothing left but a lie. And the lie has deception built in. It has a, 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 a seducing power. And reinforced with fear. Scare you and you just, you just. But look what he said to him, right? Third verse, he said, since you seek proof of the Messiah, right? Speaking in me. Okay, you challenging me, right? Since you seek proof of the Messiah speaking in me, which to you were, is not weak. But it's mighty in you. The Messiah, the spirit of the Messiah, is not weak. When, when he was robed in the body, he appeared to be weak. He was found fashioned as a man. He came humble. He had the power to destroy the whole world. He had the power even as a man. I'm talking about even, man, he had the power himself. He also had the power as a man to dispatch the most high, to, to dispatch 
legions of angels. He could have charged the angels himself, or he could have dispatched the father to dispatch him. Ain't nothing weak about it. He pulled his flesh off and shined on the mountain of transfiguration. He had big power, but he came meek. Being found fashioned as a man, he came in humility. Being the example for us to, sh to show love. He's drawing, he's drawing us with love and kindness. And we disrespect him because he ain't running around here killing everything. Well, these devils is ready to kill up everything. And now we need to be running to him to be protected from these devils running around here. But look what he's saying to him. Since you seek a proof of the Messiah speaking in me, which the U word is not weak, but it's mighty in you. The, the, the power that's working in you. The, the power that's transforming you into his image. That's some strong power because we some rascals. People got a wicked spirit. People, we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. We got some issues. We lustful, funny style, bullheaded, stubborn. We get funny style. We'll cut you and bite you and stuff. Smile in your face, stab you in the back. We, we, well, sometimes we look at ourselves and get sick. Like, ugh, you a trip. So you know what's working in us to transform us. That's a miracle uh, within itself. You think it's, it's a miracle to raise a dead body from the grave? It's a miracle to, to, to raise a living person from the grave, from, 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 from darkness, calling a person out of the darkness into the marvelous light. I watch how people move, think, manipulate. They even believe their own lies. Just the, just the position of that evil nature. Watch people do stuff that scandalous as I don't know, know what. For no apparent reason. Just you can just see wickedness on them. Just get to accusing and looking funny and lying and defending themselves and blaming others and they the one guilty. Just all kind of wicked. I'm being real with you, right? So he says, since you seek proof of the Messiah speaking in me, which to you it is not weak, but is mighty in you. For though he was crucified through weakness, the Messiah was crucified through weakness. Here we go again. Being found fashioned as a man, he lifted weak. Bunch of soldiers spitting and beating on him. He lifted weak. Yet, yet he lived by the power of the Most High. The power of the Most High it is his. You couldn't tell when he was getting slapped. He was hanging on the tree. You couldn't tell it did. But we also are weak in him. Look at the situation we in. We counted the sheep for the slaughter. Running around here, I always say it. It's the thing to do. Breathing carbon dioxide. Uh, uh, working out in, in plastic bubbles. Supposed to stay six feet. Trackable distance. <laughs> Which is a whole nother conversation. But staying six feet from folk. No fellowship. You know how satanic and torturous that is? You know how demonic that is? Oh, it's for your good. <laughs> they say it. For we also are weak in him. Look at the weakness. Look what we got to put, put up with. Look at, look at, look at. And those of us know better, got to, got to shy, you know, got to turn it down. Can't wear it on our sleeve. Can't wear the knowledge on our sleeve. We looking like sheeple too. For we also are weak in him. But we shall live with the power. We, 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 we shall live with him by the power of the most high towards you. How we live is the power that's working in us. It's for you, for your edification, for, for your exaltation, for you to grow in him. For you to be transformed by the renewal of your mind. For you to be delivered from the power of darkness. The problem that's bringing death. The transformation process. Is through the power of the most high. That should be baptized on and in. Coming out of the, the, the vessels of honor. Right? We got a responsibility to you. And the power should be working in you. And you should be changing into his image. Up under these crazy circumstances. Any crazy circumstance. No weapon formed against you. These are weapons that are formed against you, but they're not going to prosper. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Look what he said. For though he was crucified through weakness, yet he liveth 
by the power of the Most High. For we also are weak in him, but we shall live with him by the power of the Most High towards you. It's towards you, for you. Examine yourselves. Look what he said. I mean, he want to talk to him now, right? He's not playing with him. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. You know how sobering that is? Did you know each and every one of us that signed up to be saved? You should slow down on being so judgmental because you'll, or you'll turn out to be just like you if you spent your time working on you. If you looked at your attitude, how you treat people, do you give to give or do you give to be seen or do you even give it all? Do you forgive? Do you hold grudges? Are you self-centered? Are you just looking out for yourself? Did you know you can look at yourself in the mirror of the word and see whether... Um, you're living right or not? If you come off not cool, you, you you have the power through the mirror of the word to look at yourself, examine, to see if you living according to being a believer, be, being his son or daughter. You can, you can literally examine yourself if you're interested in that, if you're interested in being purified. Again, going back to Hezekiah, he told him, get your house in order because you're finna die. <laughs> If you have, if you knew you were about to die, anyone with some sense would examine themselves and get everything right. Get your house in order. Well, it ain't looking too good right now, y'all. It looked like, well, it depends on how you look at it, but it, it, it looking like some folks might be going home soon. And you might be one of them. I might. And if that's the case, you having a Hezekiah moment to get your house in order. Maybe you shouldn't be in their face like that. Maybe you shouldn't be pursuing them like that. Maybe you shouldn't be sleeping with them like that. Maybe you shouldn't be cussing like that. Maybe you shouldn't be smoking that. Maybe you shouldn't be drinking that. Maybe you shouldn't be hanging with them. Maybe you should be praying and reading. Maybe you shouldn't let the grudge go. Examine yourself. <clears throat> Maybe you should have more respect towards your parents. No matter how you feel they did you. Maybe you're pursuing something Something is more important to you than Yah. That's why you pursue it. And it is able to hurt you because you're more interested in that. Of course we can say that's not true. Though so Everybody's not able to examine themselves. Wicked people examine themselves and they give themselves excuses. Wicked people cannot come clean even with themselves because they're trapped in their evil nature. Those those that love the most high is willing to side with truth, even if the truth goes against themselves. Oh, it's the truth anyhow. And we're in a situation where we should be doing some major examinations. Self-examinations. Examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith. You in the faith, you know what the faith is? The faith is the word. The, the, the word tells us how to live. The word it's taking us to the transformation process. It's the word, right? Are you being transformed like the word wants you to? Are you obeying the word? Is, are, you, are you mortifying the deeds of the flesh? Are you, are you killing out your evil nature and letting the word have preeminence? Knowing that it's the, it's the word that makes you alive, the, the flesh, your carnal nature profits nothing. Your, 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 your carnal nature is going to hate it. it. It's a humbling experience. It's super humbling. To apologize, to admit when you're wrong, to let the grudge go, to <coughs> take down, to take the lesser, to be humble. That ain't easy because our nature is different from that. We, we, folks like freaky behavior. Folks like to be the tough guy, the one looked up to, floss mode. Look at me. That, that's, that's human nature. That's that fallen satanic nature of, of humanity at this point. That fallen Adam nature. And we now are going against that. And we're taking on the mind of the creator. We're going through a mind renewal process. And we're taking on the mind of the creator. So we have the word to look at our old nature, who we used to be, and start killing that stuff out of our lives. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And look what else he said. He said, prove your own selves. Here we go with what I was just telling you. It's not for you to prove others. Prove yourself. Prove that you can forgive. Prove that you can do what's right. 
prove that the word can come tell you what to do in your love life, in your financial life, in your mental life, in your prayer life, in your ministerial life, whatever the word is telling you in all areas of your life, you're acknowledging him in all your ways that he might direct your path. Yeah. He, he's, he's, he's master of your whole life. Because if you allow him to be master of your whole life, you got to know who the him is. Him is uh, life itself. The him is love. Love wants to be master of your life. Eternal life wants to be master of your life so you can end up with life. Eternal life. Because if you stay in charge, you're going to have eternal damnation. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith. And it said improve your own self. You prove it. You prove that you can forgive. You prove that you can love. You prove that you can be a part of the ministry and function with the gifts that the Most High put on you. Because the most important ministry on planet Earth is what the Most High is bringing to the Earth. True love. True responsibility. Am I my brother's keeper? The answer is yeah. You should be functioning in his body as the Messiah. The body of believers is the Messiah of the world right now. And we should be led by the word. The word should be using our vessels to save the world. We have this, this treasure, which is the word, in earthly vessels. That's us. And we're baptized into his body. We're functioning in his stead, in his absence. He's in heaven, and now we're on earth. Uh, uh, and, and, and let his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Examine yourself whether you be in the faith, right? This is to prove it. Pro pro prove you're a part of the body functioning. Or prove you not so you can get it right. So he's telling them to look at yourself. Know you not your own self? Do you know you? Do, do you know you? Because you out of pocket and don't even know it. You need his spirit. That's what, that's what Jeremiah 17 was talking about. I believe in 9, 17 and 9. That says that the, the heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? He knows it. His spirit knows it. But, but it's deceitful. It will trick you. People pat themselves on the back, and they deserve to get kicked in the back, dead in the backside, dead in the behind, had on some, 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 some jeans. You need to get kicked in the behind so hard, now you look like you got on Bermuda shorts. Yeah, but that same person is patting themselves on the back, pretty proud of themselves. Folks be wicked, but say you wicked, and they ain't. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith and prove your own self. Prove your own self. Know you not yourselves? How did the Messiah is in you? You say he in you, don't you? Then there's a lifestyle that follows. You function in every way you can because you're a vessel of honor. He's called you out of the darkness into the marvelous light, and you just don't live wicked no more. That's just not who you are. That's not what you do. Yeah. And we need to be examining ourselves and making the necessary transformation process. We need to be switching and changing and becoming more and more like him as we see the day approaching. That's why I say forsake not the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another so much the more as you see the day approaching. You got some folks that assemble sometimes. When they want something, when they need something, they'll assemble. Other than that, they doing them. When they God is not acting the way they want the way they want them to, then they want to look look for the true Elohim. When you should be having a relationship with the true Elohim at all times, and you should be assembling and exhorting one another. And whatever gifts you have, it should be benefiting the body. Whatever gifts you have should be benefiting the body. If you got gifts and it's not benefiting the body, it's because you into you. You ain't into the body. You're not into the Messiah. You're not into you're not into uh, 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 what, what he doing in earth. You into you. You act like you doing uh, him a favor if he use you in the body. When, when you would understand, it's your it's, it's it's your privilege that he's using you. He gave you gifts to edify the body, to profit the whole body, not for you to get paid or laid. You know, being saved is a nice aphrodisiac. Because people is wicked. If you have just a little bit of little bit of Christianity on you, you know, you're more attractive than these devils, demons out here. It's an aphrodisiac. Folks trying to seal relationships using belief. <laughs> using the oh, let me let me let, let me back up a little bit. Examine yourselves, right? Whether you be in the faith. Look at yourself. And then prove your own self. You prove you saved. 
Know you not your own self. Do you know or are you deceived? You might think you saved and you really not. Because you should know every tree by the fruit it bear. It's not what you say, it's what you do. It's concluding what you say now. But whatever you say, you better be doing it. If you say you're his child, right? Know you're not your own self. How that the Messiah is in you? Is he in you? Except you be reprobates. Except you can't judge yourself. You're so caught up in your flesh that you can't see yourself. You can't see the wickedness that you do. And you believe you're on good terms with the most high. False doctrine. Oh, see, I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from this scripture. But false doctrine does that. Give you a once save, always save type of a position, right? So you believe you save no matter what you do. And people make like satanic comments like, oh, he loves us all anyway. Oh, he, you know, he, yeah, you say that because you live wicked. He, 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 he said, he said, uh, he said, uh, all things work together for the good of them that love him. And it's called according to his purpose. And he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. AKA, do what I say. Yeah. Romans 8 lets you know that they are led by the Spirit. They're his children. If you're not led by a Spirit, you're not a child. You know what it looks like to be led by a Spirit? You walk in the Spirit of obedience. You do what he say. You do what he say. It ain't even cast for the friendly ghost. We got nice people. That ain't salvation. Cast for the friendly ghost ain't making it. You need, you need to, because doing what's right don't always come off friendly. You, you do what he tell you to do if you say it. You can't be nice but don't assemble. Nice people but don't read. Don't fast and pray. Constantly. Yeah, all that count. Examine yourself, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self that you saved, not just a nice person. No, you're not your own self. How did the Messiah is inside of you? Yahushua HaMashiach is inside of you, except you be a reprobate. Reprobate is prejudged. You, you can't do it. You, you play with the most high so much that you're done. Six verse. But I trust that you that you that you shall know that we're not reprobates. Don't think we reprobate, because they're accusing Paul. I'm not a reprobate, he's saying. Now I pray that Yah, I, I pray to Yah that you do no evil. Not that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, though, though we be as reprobate. I, I, look at this. You can think I'm a reprobate, is what he's saying. You, you think I'm just, think I'm not cool. Whatever. Whatever you say, right? But why don't you do what's right? Not to prove yourself to me. Prove yourself to the most high. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. For we are glad, look, for, for, for we are glad when we are weak, you are strong. Look at me like I'm a reprobate. Look at me like I'm not cool. But are you changing? Are you obeying him? Are you walking the spirit of love? Roll with that. Look down on me. But let the word change you. For we are glad when we are weak and you are strong. And this also we wish even your perfection. I want you to be saved. Therefore, I write these things being absent, at least being present, I should use sharpness. I'm writing because I don't want to get at you. I want you to change. I want you to be what the Most High called you to be so when I come, it can be good. I don't want to come having to get it, get it folk, correcting folk. The man shouldn't be sleeping with his father's wife. F folks should be fornicating. Folks should be lying. Folks shouldn't be cheating. Folks should be living holy. Preaching false doctrine, thinking false doctrine. Some people position spiritually is twisted. That's why they sinful. They live sinfully, but they still claim Yah. Because they got a twisted theological position. Oh, he loves everybody. He loves him. Go on with that. He is love. And love judges. And love going to judge you if you don't repent. Don't bring that to the table. You're, you're forced to sharpness. You're, you're forced the word to come see you. You're not going to build a platform for sin in a true ministry. Turning the grace of y'all into lasciviousness. True platform for ministry keeps the standard that y'all set. You ain't going to come in with that sinner saved by grace mess. Oh, we all sin. No, you sinning. That's why you said it. 
Speak for yourself. For your sinful self. Yes, yeah, speak for you. You sin it. No, no, don't put that on me. I ain't wearing that. You sin it. And stop. Before you get judged and end up damned. Oh, I look like the Ruah moving this morning. Therefore, I write these things being absent. At least being present, I should use sharpness according to the power. Oh, he got the power to do it too. According to the power which Yah has given me to edification and not to destruction. He said, I can rebuke and it's not to kill you. It's to edify you. Because at the end of the day, we all want to be saved. At the end of the day, we want to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. At the end of the day, we want to be saved. We want to obey the Most High. We don't want to put nothing to nobody before Him. Our souls and our lives depend on it. Do you want to escape the wrath to come? Because it's right over the horizon. The, the, the beginning of sorrows is jumping off right now. Do you want to survive? Then repent. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. He said, I hear from heaven. I forget their sins and I hear their land. I want him to hear from heaven. I want him to forgive our sins and I, I, we need some healing. This place is tore up from the floor. We need some healing. Finally, brethren. Never heard you all. Finally, brethren. Farewell. He said, deuces. <laughs> Be perfect. I ain't nobody perfect. Listen. If that's your testimony, then you need to get you another ministry, not this one. Can I talk like that? You're not going to establish that. You have to establish that in your own face, up under your hairdo, behind your eyebrows. You believe that. We, we, we're not living by our, our, our natural nature. We're living by the word. And if the natural nature get out of hand, we're going to rebuke it. Yeah, we're going to rebuke it, and we're going to continue to walk in perfection. We're going to continue to walk according to the spirit of love, according to the spirit of truth. And if it's sin, we ain't going to do it. He that covers his sin is not going to prosper, but he confess, you're being honest, and for sake, stop doing it, they shall have mercy. That's what we're preaching. We're preaching what the word preach. Finally, my brother, farewell. Like, I'm deuces. I'm, I'm through. I'm through. <laughs> Be perfect. Be of good comfort. You know, perfect means mature in him. Maturity means you do what you're supposed to do. Walking in faith, walking according to the truth of the word. I can't sleep with you. I can't get drunk with you. I can't get high with you. I can't lie on you. I can't hold a grudge. I can't be funny style. I can't. I got to read. I got to pray. I got to show up. I got to function in the body. And whatever gifts he gave me, I got to use them to edify the body. That's, 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 that's walking in perfection. That's walking in maturity. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Hallelujah. Be of one mind. You can't, oh, you do you. Oh, I agree to disagree. No. Corinthians 1 and 10. I, I beg you by the by, by, by the uh, by the name of Yahushua that you all speak the same thing. And that there be no division among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Finally, brethren, farewell. Deuces. Be perfect. Ain't nobody, okay, I'll stop. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And, and, the, and the Elohim of love and peace shall be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Holy, no tongue, no, no slob. Greet one another, unless it's your spouse. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints salute you. And the unmerited favor of Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach and the love of Allahim and the communion of the Ruach HaKadosh be with you all. Amen. Yeah, that was uh, that was 2 Corinthians 13 chapter. He was swinging. He, he was fed up. He he want folks to be saved. He did. It was it was kind of stiff because he didn't want to be stiff when he seen them. So like like when, like in my in a position like me, like I preach the truth, and people be under the influence of the wrong spirit and they don't be knowing it because they 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 compliment themselves in their sin. They're not doing what the Most High called them to do. The wrath for that type of living is here, 
and the punishment I can't save you from. You can't save me from my situation. I can't save you from yours. But but like when when truth come when truth come like like he sent a letter because you know when you flat footed if I'm talking to somebody I'm not like jamming them like I, I I'm trying to restore them and fellowship with them and love them. When the word come, the words sweep everything. It's like a two-edged sword. It's cutting all that wickedness out of us. So like the message just went forth, like he sent to them, it was sent to you. It was sent to us. And it just it just will it will it will get in your face and let you know you wrong. But the reason that it does it is because it wants to save you. That's love working. Because if you let if you if you if you left to yourself, you're gonna die like a fool. But the world will come and expose you to you so you can change, so you can repent. That's why in Corinthians, we read it in Corinthians 11, chapter say if you, if, if you judge yourself, you won't be judged. Well, you need the word in order to judge yourself. And if you judge yourself, don't mean just to admit you're wrong. Judge yourself means to render the verdict as well, meaning stop doing it. Don't cover your sins. Confess it and forsake it. Stop doing it. And then you're going to have mercy. So that's exactly what just happened right now. And then he said, okay, I'm out of here. I, I didn't did everything. I didn't wrote all the stuff. I didn't told y'all what it is. And, and, and made an unmerited favor, the grace of, of, of Adonai, of Yahushua HaMashiach, King James Version said, the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And and the love of, of, of Yah, King James Version said, God, right? And the communion of the Ruach HaKadosh, King James Version said, Holy Ghost, right? Be with you all. Is that all right? Be with you. Can we agree? Hallelujah. All right. Well, that was 2 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. In fact, let's pray right now. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for the gleaning in your words. Praying that the truth of the word jumped off of the page and fought, fell down in our souls and, and sprang up in the everlasting life. Uh, we need you desperately. Uh, we thank you even for uh, uh, disclosing 2 Corinthians, 1st uh, uh, and 2 Corinthians in its totality. Uh, continue to raise us up in you and that we might be transformed into your image. Rescue us. You see what we're facing? It's ugly. But you being for us is more than the whole world being against us. You're going to have to show up and tear this place up again. Do what you do. Send your angels. Start dispatching them now and rebuke the devil. We're, we're trusting you even for this. And we thank you and we celebrate the victory in you. In the master's name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. Okay, y'all, that was it. <clears throat> That was first, second Corinthians. I, I pray you were blessed by the, the series uh, we did. Uh, Galatians. We'll be looking into another series. Um, you know, prayerfully, the one the Most High had me do will be filled with food to the edification of the body that we continue to grow in Him. Is that all right? If you were blessed by this uh, particular series or even this last chapter, uh, feel free to push the share button. Push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. Hallelujah. In fact, you can push the whole series. It's, all, it's on my Facebook. Just push the whole series um, and, and let people grow and learn and learn with you. Uh, if you're a financial supporter of this ministry, I'm humbled. I'm blessed. Uh, may the Most High continue to bless you. Um, you. I'm sure you only support the ministry, those that do. The few that do um, is because the, the, the word is, 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 is supporting you and blessing you. Um, if you are being blessed by this ministry and would like to support this ministry because it is blessing you, uh, it's my job to tell you how. Um, if you got the cash app, all you got to do is put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. That's dollar sign Y A H U D A H Y I S R A E L. Hallelujah. And you can sow your seed like that. You also can uh, support the ministry through Facebook. Just go to Messenger on my page and there is a giving button inside of there. <coughs> Use the number, y'all, if y'all want to talk about the word. 302-202-1102, extension 815648, because we're on now. The sun is already waiting, and those of you that want to talk about the word and pray, um, chime on over. Keep that number, because we plan to pray at noon, and then we're praying to double back at uh, 7 p.m. with Elder, Elder Jean, with a, with a fantastic rhema word. Most high be using him mightily, so you don't want to miss that. Y'all ready? Uh, me, be, be mindful that they say the skinheads and the Klan and stuff are supposed to be acting a fool trying to hurt black people tomorrow. So be prayerful about that. Let the most high deal with them. Y'all stay safe, though. Don't get caught slipping. Yeah, pay, pay attention. Uh, we, we ain't going to get evil. 
we ain't gonna get evil, you know, but but stay ready and alert to, to defend yourself. And whatever, all we gotta do is send up some prayers and the most high will fight your battle, he'll deal with them. And everything wicked, everything wicked he dealing with. Uh, and, you know, and so you understand that. And that's a uh, light skin or dark skin, or any skin in between. So so repent from all sin. Is that all right? Y'all 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 be careful out there. Y'all be careful out there. Um, if the Most High allows to see tomorrow, y'all y'all be careful. Okay. Y'all be Baruch and Brachas Shalom on God.